Hello everybody, how's it going? Buddy Blackbird here with another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be learning about the history brush. And you need to combine the history brush with the history panel to bring back elements from original or uh, previous history states. And a history state is any one of these uh, sections in the uh, history panel. So um, pretty much what the history brush does is brings back or you select you select a history state and then paint over the original or the state that you have now and it'll bring back stuff from the uh, from the first image that you selected. So I'll just have to ex uh, do it to explain it a little more. So I'm going to delete this uh, history brush right here. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out on this um, snap on this right here, which is basically nothing. I'm going to take this patch tool and I'm going to grab this like wood stack back here. And I'm just going to move down here to just replace the wood stack. So now we've got that mess right there. Now, if we remember, I'll just take a snapshot real quick. Um, and snapshot one is this one, so if I click on it, it's going to be that. If I go to the original, nothing was there. So what I want to do is I'm going to click on this uh, checkbox area over here on the original, and it's going to show the history brush. Now, I'm on snapshot one as my selected history state, or selected snapshot. So I'm going to click on the art history brush right here. If you click and hold the art or the history brush tool, not the art history brush, the history brush tool is what we want. If I click on that, then come over here and start painting. It's going to paint back the original. It's, it's actually painting back the um, layers of the uh, one that I have selected. So it's painting that back. So now if I have this this one selected right here that I want to have my art brush uh, or my history brush work on. So I have that selected. Now if I go to paint around the edges here, let me make this a bigger brush. It's bringing back this stuff from that uh, state. So um, that's the history brush for you. Now, something else I wanted to show you was bringing the states, um, bringing the, uh, what's it called? Bringing the history state into another document. And, all, and that's really easy. And pretty much it just creates a new document for you with the history state that you have selected. So um, let me go to something like this snapshot one right here where we did the... Um, where we did the patch right there and I'm gonna click on this button here with the document with the plus sign I'm gonna click on it and it's gonna create a new current document for me and now it brings it doesn't carry over the other history but now I have this document to work on on my own or on its own and uh, this actually helps save RAM so that's very uh, useful that way you can work on a section without having to um, work on it in like a huge project. So if you got a project that has a bunch of different layers and elements and it's going really slow for you, just uh, create a new document using the history panel and you won't have to ha uh, work uh, as slowly and everything. I wanted to end up showing you something cool that you could do with the uh, snapshots and our history brush together and uh, let's uh, do that. So I'm gonna not save that um, document that I created and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete out some of these snapshots so we don't have to worry about them and I've got my original one here and what I want to do is put a filter on it let's go to um, let me just figure out a filter I didn't think of this ahead of time um, I'll just throw on like a blur I, I guess so I'll throw on this blur and we'll blur it a decent amount. So it's pretty much blurred there. I'm going to take another snapshot. 
Oh, I clicked on the wrong button. <laughs> I clicked on the, the new layer. I was like, what, what did I just do? Take another slap, snapshot by clicking on this. So we got snapshot one here, which is the blurred. And then we have our original here. So let's put our art history brush on our blurred. Now I want pretty much just um, me to stand up. This picture is of me eating a piece of corn cob with a hot dog bun on it. I was just goofing around. But okay, let's let's start this. So we need to rasterize the layer first, and then I can use this brush here to start painting in. Um, use the art history brush to paint in and remove basically the effect that I had going on. So there we go. So now. The main focus is now like everything is blurred out in the background and you could have um, used done it a little better by being more intricate using a smaller brush and everything like that. But you can see how you can mix like filters and the history brush and snapshots and everything like that mm -hmm. to create cool effects. So that's all I wanted to show you guys here and I thought it was uh, pretty cool. So if you guys liked the video make sure you thumbs it up if you hated it. Um, of course, give it a thumbs down and all the feedback helps. So be sure to check out um, some more Photoshop videos on uh, Bucky'sRoom.com. Make sure you want to check that out. So have a good one, everybody. See you later.